All right, so I got the piece of the frame that I wanted to get out, out. And now that I've got that out, I've also found a small other piece of rust underneath the floor uh, on the seat brace that I'll be replacing. So I'm gonna take, cut that piece out. I'm going to replace that piece. I'll make a new frame. This frame actually starts out wider and gets a little bit narrower as it goes back. So I'll have to account for that whenever I do the metal bends. Um, got the nice um, cutout for drainage. Uh, get this all built out and then uh, hopefully be putting in floor pans. I doubt I'll be done with this today, uh, but that's sort of where I'm at and that's what I'm going to be working on. So yeah, keep watching. So as you can tell, I decided not to go ahead and order the pieces online. I found some 16 gauge steel that I was able to bend into place even though it was a little bit heavier than the metal break was designed for, I still felt like I could probably go ahead and bend it into place. Um, you'll see that I use a hammer to actually do that for the most part, uh, but I actually, for several other pieces, uh, used the metal break and actually worked out pretty well. The one thing I had to remember whenever I was making this part is that there was a narrowing of the frame rail and because there was a narrowing that mean I had to that meant I had to keep parallel lines um, throughout the entire piece that I was bending into place uh, so uh, measure twice cut once on these type of things I largely found that I wasn't using enough clamps at first to bend or use the metal brake the other thing that I noticed is that I wasn't willing to actually um, commit to sort of bending the metal pieces. The, the external bends are definitely something that are not the easiest things to create, and so I was able to use them, my hammer to sort of hammer these pieces out and make uh, the external bends. All right, so as you can see, the uh, new piece is mostly made, and here's the old piece, definitely uh, much um, more flimsy than the new one. Um, so here's the new piece that I'll be welding in. Uh, once I weld it in, I'll, I'll uh, paint it and get it all coated so that way it doesn't rust on me inside the car, as well as drill the hole here for drainage of anything that gets into it. But yeah. I think this turned out really well. I've still got to cut this front piece off and tack these all together before I get it put in the car. But um, so far, so good. I think it, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. At this point in time, I decided to cut the small pieces of the floorboard that were underneath the seat rail. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my welds a little bit more here on my frame rail. And I'm going to cut the existing or the rest, hopefully, of the rust out of the front uh, driver's side floor pan. And then hopefully, I'll start being able to actually coat everything and start building it back out with um, new metal. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different little pieces of rust cut out over the past day. I'll start patching those in as well as I go. Um, so yeah, it's coming along. One thing I realized on my frame rail is that there was a whole bunch of overhang there so I went ahead and trimmed it down so that way it didn't stick out and look crappy underneath the car. Then I started cutting out the small metal pieces in order to replace the floorboard pieces that were underneath the seat rail. That's what you see me doing right now. Of note, I've started using a Harbor Freight ear plugs. 
Uh, these things are great because they allow you to listen to your radio and everything like that. And then whenever you start using your grinder and other stuff, they actually they actually mute them or mute external sounds, so that way you don't have to uh, hear big loud grinder noises and things like that. All right, so I've tacked in the new rail. I've got this floor pan sort of in the spot where it's gonna be sitting at. So now I need to look and see how I'm going to rebuild this section that I've gotta cut out. So I gotta cut out that section and then build out underneath it and then tack the floor pan to it and build out around there, um, but it's coming together. All right, so as I go to finish working back on this part of the car, I'm going to finish putting in the rest of the um, subframe right here. I'm gonna clean up that area. I'm gonna spread on the uh, rust killer, the mort, rust mort, uh, finish welding in over here, and then continue moving on. Um, it's, it's going slower than what I was hoping it would go, but that's the way this whole project seems to go. So I uh, hope you're enjoying so far. I've been struggling to get the welder set to an appropriate level uh, for this project. I found that I've put it on low and then I've sped up the feet of the wire and I think that's really actually helped um, give me a better weld over the past couple days, uh, which you don't see at this part in time in the video. Um, in this portion, I didn't get all the underside um, coating and everything like that off. Uh, this caused um, small little fires underneath the car and just uh, something to always be cautious and careful about. Here you can see that I've started to make the piece that's going to end up going at the firewall and is going to bend down and go underneath the floorboard. The metal brake worked really well uh, for whenever I was making this piece. It allowed me to do a couple small bends and put it into place um, with an, a gradual bend that uh, follows the line of the frame rail as well as the firewall. I cut it a little bit too long the first time so I ended up having to trim off a small portion of it. Here's where I noticed that the front metal piece where the side meets the firewall is, was rusted out pretty badly, so I ended up deciding that I was going to cut it out and make a new piece to go into place there. So first I cleaned up all around it and then got out my grinder and with a cutoff wheel and cut it out. There's the new piece. I was able to use a paper template to make the piece that went on the front corner here and then was able to tack it into place. I think by the time I'm done with this project, half of my car is going to be replaced by that piece of metal that you see me keep cutting pieces out of. So one thing that I didn't do here that really caused problems later is I forgot to move my creeper 
out from underneath the car and so you'll see it slowly and steadily get more and more sparks put on it and then it just sort of destroyed the upper portion of it I have to sand it down in order to get it smooth again. You can see the light behind the panel that's me looking for holes where the rust didn't or excuse me where the welder didn't um, completely close over the holes. I've got a few more left. Alright, so that's going to do it for this video. I went ahead and cleaned up the rest of the welds. In the next video, I'm going to continue um, welding in the floorboard and making the pieces as I go, uh, as well as paint and coat the frame that's under the floor. If you like what you see, go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.